everybody, welcome back to Live Racing. I'm Daniel and Sam. Yeah. I haven't been looking forward to this portion of it, but we're getting ready to tackle what I would call to be the uh, one of the worst parts of the uh, MR2, and that's, uh, that's dropping the fuel tank. Um, everything else on these guys, I would say, is pretty straightforward, maybe uh, time consuming, but very straightforward. Um, and yeah, that's, that's what we're doing today. So, man, I just don't like doing this stuff on my back, I think is what, what demotivates me, but you know how it goes. You gotta do this stuff sometimes. I'm wearing my, wearing my earbud for the, uh, for the microphone too, hopefully getting a little bit better audio for you guys. But yeah, um, uh, I don't know. Let's get this thing lifted up. We're probably gonna use the uh, engine crane again here. Not the uh, safest thing going on too, but I don't think I'm gonna knot the, uh, the tow rope again. That was a little bit scary the last time. That was probably even scarier than having the... Uh... Got, a lot of, got a lot of motorcycle. Got a lot of motorcycle riders around in this neighborhood. It's like that guy's uh, fifth time going past here. But yeah, anyways. Um, so we're gonna get the, uh, uh, car lifted up with the <laughs> crane and, uh, we'll see what we can, uh, what we can tackle underneath there too. We're really just dropping it just to get the, uh, uh, rest of the brake lines all, all where we need them to be, um, without bending them in too weird shapes or anything like that. And, uh, a few of the other, uh, I don't know. I don't think we're gonna take the uh, parking brake stuff too. I, th I think we're gonna just modify our, modify our own parking brake. I don't know, we'll see. This parking brake seemed to have worked pretty well. Still hooked up. All right. <laughs> Okay, that's a lot safer. Um, <laughs> yeah, not not near as bad this time around. Still pretty sway, -y, but uh, we're actually hooked into well bolted parts and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty comfortable getting underneath this thing today. Let's give this thing a shot. Ah, uh, these little shots, you know. Um, but from here, we can kind of see back into uh, where we're traveling, really. Um, yeah, <laughs> kind of got the uh, coolant pipes there. You can see a bit of the fuel tank. Um, the majority of the uh, brake lines are kind of tucked up in between the two of these guys. So uh, looking at this again, we might actually get through this without pulling the uh, fuel tank down. And man, I got my fingers crossed on that one, but I'm pretty sure once we take off these mounts, this, this sucker's just gonna rip right down. So yeah, we're just gonna deal with it as it comes and uh, see what happens. All right, so we've got... Gotten... Of stuff out of our way and uh, I saw that the uh, clutch line and the uh, oh yeah that's gonna be a that's gonna be a rough bend right there that's gonna be a rough bend man they make this as hard as possible on this portion of the car uh, trying to trying to decide how to attack this sometimes can be half the battle really like I just want these guys, just these these guys only, really. Ah. Yeah. All right, we're continuing on going for it, but I think we're pretty close, really. I think we're uh, uh, looking good on not dropping the gas tank 
if I can fish these guys out of here, but that is a big if. That's a big iffy. Iffy Jeffy. We want these guys. We've been defeated by the brake lines. They're just gonna be too complicated to uh, to get out and just not worth my time. Um, especially because we're going to be going to kind of a little bit of a different setup. So I just kind of wanted to keep the mapping of the lines really was what I was after. Um, we probably weren't even going to keep the lines because they were so full of uh, gunk and everything like that too. And I, did, I didn't want to put new calipers on there and just fill them up with gunk. So we've moved on. Moved on. <laughs> this one's fighting me. This guy's fighting me. And to tell you the truth, actually, while I was underneath here, too, I found some patch welds in the frame rail that were freaking way suspect. Probably could have never even used this car, actually, to really race, uh, just given the way that that thing was patched together. But that makes me happy that we have this whole entire other chassis to, uh, to have some fun in. Um, but we did get uh, both of the cooling lines all, uh, all off there good in that aspect and uh, we're off to the rear I'm not messing around with this thing anymore we're uh, we're just about done so we're just gonna push through and finish this off that's my determination face yeah I'm getting pretty pissed off at this thing this fucker's fighting me <laughs> all right we're gonna finish this off right now around just a little bit. The only thing I don't like about these uh, Megan top hats is that they uh, they go, they, they thread all the way, their studs thread all the way down to the bottom and it leaves for a little bit of sloppiness when you uh, when you tighten these guys down but there's another one down. Well this is what it looks like when I kill a car. And I killed it pretty good, I would say. <laughs> so I, uh, yeah, you know, it bled, it bled out. And now it's diving, diving down on the ground. I just got it kind of balanced on the, on the front right now. Just popped out the, uh, subframe. Hardly even see it. Excuse my, uh. My shadow. That's the subframe. Wheels. Rear knuckles. Some suspension. More suspension. Let's see what else. 
uh, coolant pipes. Where did I put those? Oh yeah, coolant pipes right there. Yeah, we we got busy. You can really see it from this angle. Yeah, this is what it looks like when I get angry and and kill a car. And I kind of murdered it. <laughs> Sketchy. That's me. Don't ask me why, you know?